this is uh, from a project I'm doing uh, about my uh, family. It's a generational saga, you might say. And this section takes place in Henrietta Indian Territory, which is now Oklahoma, where I was born, in 1904. And this reading is a fictional letter, and it's in the voice of a servant girl, Effie, who lives with a wealthy family, and, and they have three daughters. The youngest is a little girl, about six, and the oldest are 14 and 16. And they have their eyes on two new boys who have come to town on a train. And um, uh, so the, the train is, and the boys are from Indiana. But anyway, remember the social situation in 1904, if you would, with me. And also, uh, perhaps at teenage girls, they connive at any time. <laughs> and that um, without romance, maybe none of us would be here. So, so dear Bisser, I done take Miss Alice Christmas shopping today to buy presents for her mom and daddy and sisters and get most things at the general merchandise store. We buy cigars for her daddy and a lace hanky for her mama and a purse for George and booties for the new baby in Kansas City. We go to the millinery and buy a new hat with a feather in it for Miss Mildred but still we not decide what to get for Miss Mary. So we done went to the hardware store to look around because they have some toys besides screwdrivers, hammers and stuff, and we buy some croits for Daddy to play with in the parlor, and we see some tiddlywinks for Miss Mary sitting on the shelf. And Walter Wilson standing there behind the counter all nice and polite. He nods his head and blink when he say hello. Bill Alice wise, hello Miss Effie. And we put the toys on the counter, and Miss Alice looked proud and say she'd pick out the tiddlywinks for her sister Mary. Walter Wilson say, excuse me, and he go whisper something to his daddy. He come back and say the tiddlywinks are free, because Miss Mary be so nice to sit with him so long by the window in the sleeping porch when he look out the crazy snake. He say he like it that she bring him su a supper and a glass of water when he'd be so hungry and thirsty. So we pay for the coits and thank Walter Wilson for the tiddlywinks and say goodbye to his daddy, and I take Miss Alice's hand, and we walk home with a light step and sing some Christmas songs together. So I cook supper with some beans and collards, and the family sit around the table all peaceful, till Miss Alice blurt out that Walter Wilson have a Christmas present from Miss Mary, and it be tiddlywinks. Miss Mary asks, what did you say? Miss Alice say a present from Walter Wilson, because Miss Mary sit with, Will with Walt by the sleeping porch, window when he guarded with his rifle, looking out for Crazy Snake. So Walter Wilson wanted to thank Miss Mary for bringing them supper when he's so tired sitting there day and night. Miss Mildred stand up and say, so that's why Mary acts so funny. She'd be in love with Walter Wilson. Miss Mary whimper and say, that's not true, you know it, sister. I heard Miss Mildred's chair slide across the floor some more and make a noise like she leave the table. Mr. Y say, he sit back and he say, sit down, young lady. You know nobody's supposed to get up from this table without being excused. So Miss Mildred thumped herself back down, but asked Miss Mary, I thought you was holding out for Charlie Wilson, and what about his dimple? Miss Mildred make a funny noise that she, she cried. Miss Mary sit down, and or she say in a soft voice that Walter Wilson be her hero and has a dimple too. She's seen it up close in his big, strong hands holding his rifle, too. Miss Mildred say, have you forgotten all about Charlie Wilson's bright eyes? Miss Mary say that Walter Wilson have sad and pleading brown eyes. Miss Mildred starts screaming out now, and did you know his ears stick out? Did you say pleading brown eyes? Pleading. Did you hear that, Daddy? Mary tried to steal my bow from me and behind my back. Miss Mary start crying out now, and she say, no, Mama, it's a lie. And she sobbed, excuse me, Daddy, I can't eat no more. And she jumped up quick from the table, crying her heart out, I reckon. I heard her run upstairs sobbing and heaving, and her Mama run after her. Mrs. Wise scream out, what's going on with you two? Mary, Walt, wait, what's wrong? Shame on you both. I heard petticoats swishing and footsteps go up the stairs, like, what a mess, Lord, have mercy. Miss Mildred, she stay put at the table with her daddy and Miss Alice, everything all quiet for a minute. Finally, Mr. Wise talked to Miss Mildred in a quiet father voice. I peek in the room and I see he reach over and he kiss her on the forehead. He say, Millie, is it time? I guess that's the end. <laughs>